Hey, what's up, Metal and Heavy Music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and today I want to talk about Virginia melodic black and death metal band For Token, mashing together Dissection with Karish Angren on their new album Ruin via Prosthetic Records. Now, Four Token was introduced to me as a melodic death metal band, but I challenge you to listen to the ominous opening tremolo lines of bewildering duress and not think of Storm of the Light's Bane. Between this, the raspy vocal style and ghostly atmosphere of the synths, this very much feels like a black metal record that just so happens to have some Gothenburgy elements attached to it. And speaking of the vocals, the devil may care way in which Dan Cooley spits each syllable of the mythology-ridden lyrics also gives me some mild Karish Angren vibes, tempered once more with classic bands like Dissection and Sacramentum. But the real star of the show here is the guitar work. Especially on the first two tracks, Steve Redman absolutely kills it with malicious tremolos, soaring harmonies, and chugging melodic death metal palm muting. My personal favorite, The Retribution, also has a part just after the three minute mark that would make Iron Maiden blush with its thrash and heavy metal inspired triplets transitioning into a jaw dropping harmonized solo. Pair with this Steve's equally exemplary work on the orchestral compositions and the addition of Triptychon, Hate Eternal, and Ex Obscura, just to name a few of his other projects, drummer Hans Grossman, and you can expect a serious thrill ride of accomplished musicianship. There are only two things that ultimately pull this album's score down just a little bit for me, song length and some of the vocal choices. The former is a simple case of just biting off more than the band can chew. As impressive as many of the compositional elements can be, the longer tracks like the 10 minute plus Hamarsha and Indelibility of Inequity get a bit repetitive for me after the halfway mark. Which is a shame considering just how strongly they open. As for the vocal issues, Dan is trying to jam way too many words into each measure. It definitely feels like he wrote out these epic, almost Homeric mythologies in advance, and then rather than tweaking them to fit the music just right, chose to belt out every single word regardless of whether they fit into any sort of logical cadence. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but even with these relatively mild shortcomings aside, Ruin is a fantastic record from a very talented trio of musicians. It has some of my favorite blackened performances of the year, and its emphasis on riffs should be a serious selling point to the guitar enthusiasts out there. I give Ruin an 8 for enjoyability. I'm toying with kind of leaning towards a 9 at this point. Every listen, I seem to enjoy it just a little bit more, but when I compare it to some of the other albums that I really love this year, it falls just a little bit short. I give it a 9 for musicianship. Fantastic stuff here from the songwriting to the performances, but again, there are those kind of repetitious parts that keep it from having a 10. And then I give them a 7 for innovation. Nothing too new or exciting happening here, but they more than make up for it with the energy. Round that out to about a solid 8. It's a B- for Ruin from For Token. Get it once more via Prosthetic Records. Y'all, thanks as always for watching, and let me know down in the comments what you think of this album, and also what's your favorite black metal album of 2020 so far. And stick around, because there's plenty more videos coming up, not only more album reviews, but also Bandcamp explorations, interviews with bands on the podcast, album tier lists, you name it, we've got it. So plenty of reasons to, again, subscribe if you haven't already. Also in the description, you can find links to our social media, the email newsletter, MetalTrenches.com, and our Patreon and subscribe star if you want to make that extra jump to becoming a full-on supporter. Thanks to all the people who have already signed up on Patreon, and special thanks this week to David Dines who signed up at the $10 tier level. You're really helping keep this channel alive. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.